Hi, I'm Darren Truick. Uh, g'day, I'm Jack Truick. I'm fifth generation. I'm a sixth generation farmer here. At Cramlington Park, Elmore. We sow wheat, barley, canola, oats for export hay, uh, lentils, fava beans and lupins. It's a very mixed, diverse cropping plan that we've got on around about 2,000 hectares. Jack, oh, Jack's motivated, very motivated. He's, uh, he's go he was going to be a farmer since he was knee high to a grasshopper. I'd get in trouble at home and mum would kick me out so I'd go find something else to do instead of annoying her and I'd end up just walking down the yard here and dad or pa would come in, I'd just get in the ute and go and then, yeah, I just loved it ever since, really. I enjoy the growing of the crops, watching them grow. I enjoy the harvest. If you enjoy your job, you don't work a day in your life. Now, who's the boss, yourself or Jack? <laughs> Depends on the day, I suppose. I'm the boss. He's probably the boss, but oh, I think I'm the boss some days. <laughs> We've been with Hoyslers ever since they started in Echuca. And we've had great service out of Hoyslers in Echuca, not only through sales, but through their mechanical backup as well. We've, we've had a really good run with them. Oh, we've worked with Howard a long time. I've been working with the Truick Farm probably most of my career. I was lucky enough with a fellow salesman to get introduced to them when I first started in my sales career. From what I see of Darren and Jack's operation now, they're certainly growing into a larger scale broadacre operation along their pathway. Obviously they've started to expand the area that they farm, trying to keep up with modern technology and um, explore probably better and more productive ways of doing farming. So in this day and age, tech is a huge thing. Like back when dad was a young fella, they just used to go by eye and feel, and now with technology, you're able to actually get a bit of data and learn what you did last year. If it didn't work or did work again, you're able to just repeat it, just copy and paste it again. Or if it didn't work, you can see where it didn't work and then know where to fix. So we're using Op Center a lot now lately, especially with this new cedar we've got, with the new C-Series cart on it. We're using it with the Section Command Pro and the turn compensation and active cow is awesome. We run five John Deere tractors, They're all really good gear. With the new Pro Series openers, it's a really good improvement and the cart has been has been a really good update for us. We, d we do a lot of seeding by the calendar, not necessarily by the weather. With our disc seeder, we can put it into anything and it'll, and it'll seed to depth into the, some of the hardest ground that, that we'll go, we'll just, it'll seed straight into it. And the technology behind the bins is, is unreal. It's been a fantastic thing for us. Truex run predominantly John Deere equipment. All their harvest and cropping equipment is John Deere. Uh, it's all enabled with JD Op Center. So we're able to monitor that and they're able to document all the operations that they do within their farm. Uh, as an account manager, I'm able to help them out if say a startup issue or perhaps just some confusion around screens and different things that they might be trying to tackle. I'm lucky enough to be able to access the remote display access via my smart device, jump in, talk the operator through. If they just have that moment of failure where they can't quite remember what to do, I'm able to do that, so it's a very useful tool. The main technologies that we're using at the moment are Service Advisor Remote. Uh, that's a great one for technicians to be able to remotely access the tractor to see what is actually happening before they get to the job. We, we've got a really good working relationship with Hoysles. They know our, our operation well. They're able to find someone to come out and help us if it's a salesperson, technician, even a, we can ring up the parts people and just be like, oh, we're having this issue. They will be there whenever you need them.